Welcome back to another episode. We just want to give a massive shout out to Dakota Lithium. We are very proud ambassadors. Dakota Lithium 200 amp hour batteries. This is going to be an absolute game changer for us. We've spent many years on the water and we've had lead acid batteries. It's that time and these bad boys are going in. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Oh. Honestly. Honestly. Guys, if you can carry a cart and a bloody beer, you can definitely carry one of these because it's probably lighter. Oh, here they go. They're about to disappear. We're going to put them down into the hole. Well, this is where the batteries are going. We're about to install. So they're the bottom two trays we've got there. I've cleaned them up. They're a little bit narrower, the lithium, so they're a little bit smaller. So I had to make some trays so they'd fit. Obviously they're not only smaller, but they're a lot lighter. So it's going to make this install bloody simple. Just get his work out in everybody just before he puts them in. <laughs> I do that with the other batteries. I can barely lift the other batteries. <laughs> I must be getting weaker in my old age. Number one. All right guys, one thing in Australia, Safety first. Make sure you've got your own boots on. It's bloody cold out here. The last thing you want to do is get a cold halfway through an install and have to stop. We've got days till we've got to get out of here. So I'm going to keep the Ugg boots on. Workplace health and safety. you got two Ugg boots. <laughs> Go on. Look darling, when our channel grows and we can get you another pair. First on the list darling. I am walking around with one Ugg boot on. It's not because I don't have one. I am i can't get the other one, it's underneath our bed. <laughs> and our bed's been pulled apart and I was cold, but. If you know anything about boat works and installs, <laughs> usually makes a mess from one end of the boat to the other. As many things get lost along the way, <laughs> including the old Ugg boot. Give each of these batteries a name. What's the name of this one, I think? Number two, <laughs> very original. <laughs> Number two is going in. Oh, don't worry, up. darling, I'll get all the batteries. Okay. You just stand there with the camera. All right. Look at that. Number one and number two, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! All right, so we've got the installation happening. Lee's in the engine bay. This is the drawing that Brian has created for us, and we printed it out. And so Lee can have a reference and be able to troubleshoot in the future. What do you mean troubleshoot? There's going to be no troubles here, darling. Oh well, that'll be new and different for us, won't it? <laughs> if we're prepared for troubles, then maybe they won't happen. <laughs> yep, it's got it sorted. Close it all now. <laughs> FT guys. What's FT? Tight. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want loose connections. That's where you get problems. I've got a lot of work ahead of me even just before I take off. Loose connections cause arcing and uh, you definitely don't want that on a boat. I've got to go over all the other connections on this boat and just make sure they're all tight. It's looking good guys. Alright, this is one thing he really, really, really wanted and he's been wanting to use it. He's used it a couple of times but um, what is that that you've got? Is that a calculator? Okay. He's calculating some problems. <laughs> It's not a calculator, he's not going to talk, but I will. This is a Fang Dangle, very fancy label maker. And uh, it specifically labels melt tubes, hot tubes, heat tubes. <laughs> the things that you warm up and they shrink, shrink wraps. <laughs> they go. Can't take this comedy show any longer. <laughs> yeah, I've got a label maker. I don't actually have heat shrink to do the uh, 2 watt cable, but all my normal small cables and what size cables I can't do with this, I can still print them out and just put a bit of clear heat shrink over them. But I want to try and as I go 
keep a good schematics of the boat here. So Brian has done an amazing job at altering and adding along the way. So I've got a good drawing to keep on the boat. And I'm going to label everything as I go. So. Thank you, Greg. Nothing fancy on this one, guys. It's just B1. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken you this long. I had to set it up. <laughs> here we go. Well, this is very exciting. Darling. Well, you know, I'm just, uh, to be honest, I was just having a coffee. It's my little morning job. Thought I'd have my coffee at the same time because I don't have time at the moment to sit down and have a coffee. <laughs> so I'm trying to do an easy task with, uh, with my coffee. Uh, what I've done, I've just used the little template that the Victron give you, and I'm going to mount our little touch screen which is going to monitor the boat. Right there. Just drilled a couple little holes in there. I was going to put it over on our control panel. I've changed my mind only because of ease of use and to save a few dollars. I would have had to get extender cables for this. I can pretty much drop down straight behind there is the Serbo GX, GE, PE, whatever it is. Anyway, um, I can plug into that. My lead will be long enough, I hope. Yeah, be just long enough. So um, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna mount this little bad boy here. Look at that old school thing. I had one of these when I was about 18, I think. Oh, that was a long time ago. That was a little while ago, guys. It's <laughs> a couple of years old. It was actually really good. I had that in my fishing boat. Got two of the batteries in last night. Yeah. They're all wired up, and um, there's two more to go. You just had to modify some of the trays this morning. You can do that. At Midnight last night, didn't want to make noise, so... <laughs> it was about one o'clock by the time I went to bed and I thought I'd better go to bed, otherwise it's going to be daylight. Anyway... Another day? Another day. We're getting closer. Rough hole guys, don't judge me, but I didn't really care. It's only for a wire. No love, no care taken there, just a hole. Oh, you gotta put love in everything, honey. Yeah. Oh, look at that, hey? Oh, that was <sighs> satisfying. I'll leave that for Sarah, I'll put that back on because nah. she likes, <laughs> so she likes nice. peeling stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. There we go, guys. We've got our little monitor. It's all about happy mediums. It looks beautiful. So. That's where it's going to live over there. We'll get this mounted up back in here and it can be our panel. Captain Sarah can monitor the battery usage over there while she's editing at the table. Okay, that's my desk now. Yeah, yes. she's accommodating the table. <laughs> I sort of got started on my coffee, but I got a job done instead. It's your second coffee, don't lie to the people. <laughs> to top up. No, it's about a 20. <laughs> I'm gonna need 20 more. He runs on Vicky's and coffee this way. <laughs> it was time to install the final two batteries. But it wasn't just as simple as putting them in. The trays had to be modified as soon as the batteries were in place. So this meant we took the batteries in and out a few times and Lee had to bend the trays so that they fit nice and snug. Ladies and gentlemen, quality Encore heat shrink, and it's uh, it's got a glue inside. You can see it melting out, so it's glued and heat shrunk. That is sealed, strong and good. All right, two more. Make them a little bit long. 
So these are my little uh, two watt cables. I've got a little hydraulic swage machine here and we have yanked on these cables. They are good. Oh. There we go. Nice strong swage. I've, I've had the screwdriver in here. I've pulled on these just to see if I could get them to pull out. Um, I've just thrown out some of the ones in the bin or that were in here that had actually pulled out over time and um, yeah, these ones definitely aren't going to do that. Anyway. So Lee's just connected up the final two batteries. This is the last thing going on. Sure is. Sure is. Look how neat this is, hey? So tidy. Might be tidy on the board, but the boat's not real tidy. <laughs> how come this is like the neatest part of the boat? I should have run that actually along there. No, oh, dude. That looks terrible. Not by itself, <laughs> isn't it? Could have come maybe under there. <laughs> you could have thought about that before. Yeah, that's a pain. Right, he wants to tidy it up, but here it is. In case we don't get back in there, <laughs> like usual, he always tells me to film later. <laughs> this may never open again, so I'm filming it right now. <laughs> Batteries are in, wired up. It's very close. There's a few lines to take care of. I've got a start battery to take care of on the other side. There's our four batteries anyway, 800 amp hours, all wired up into the bus and the engine bay and ready to continue on in there. Yeah, there's <laughs> plenty of uh, wire work to be done. Yeah. He's put the batteries in, finished that part, but not finished the rest. Alright, for all those OCD people, he did fix it up. <laughs> <laughs> he can handle it. Uh, let's put it back with its friend. <laughs> and then he'll be finished in here for just a little bit. Make it look pretty, just for the camera guys, not for me. Yeah, <laughs> he would have opened it up in the middle of the night, I wouldn't be able to sleep. <laughs> That's it. Habis. Habis. Putting its cover it's back like on. It's Indonesia Habis. <laughs> cover back on for now, so nothing goes down there. Look at that, some uh, stairs now. Just for a little bit. I'm going to run some more. I'm going to run the start out here, but that'll do for now. Right, he's finished under the stairs, but he's in here. We've got our power in on our Lynx bus, so everything is live inside of here. It isn't joined by a fuse, so everything I'm working on at the moment is unfused. And our cardboard box isn't here. Uh, connected. <laughs> connected at the moment, so hopefully Monday this box will turn into an inverter, a uh, 3 kilowatt inverter. We've got our three controllers here, we're missing our third controller which should be here tomorrow. Fourth. We've got our, oh sorry, fourth, we've got our breakers all lined up, we've got our buses, house lines, alternators, everything ready to be tied in here. We've got a standalone 5000 watt inverter which is going to be for the water maker over here, which this one is going to be replaced, and we have a new water maker, so that's going to be fun. That's a real simple one, and that's going to be a cool little episode. What else we got going in here? We've got a battery connect going on here. That's just for the main board, and we've got our DC to DC charger, which will go over here and run power to our house bank. And at a later date, be changed out for a whole different system with our high output alternator and a different regulator. But for now, still a bit of uh, chopping and changing going on to make things work. All right, everybody, it's another beautiful day here in uh, San Diego. The sun is shining and it's the perfect time to check if our existing solar panels are working properly. That's what we're doing, isn't it, Brian? Yeah. Yeah, but we're getting closer. It's uh, 11 days to go today and that sounds, that sounds incredibly close now. <laughs> What are you doing downstairs? Doing lots, I've just got too much going on. I can't talk about it. Oh. I'm just in the engine bay. Sorry everyone, I was too busy to talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's a busy man. There's things to do, places to go. <laughs> 11 days to sail away. Yeah, Nothing that's going right. On. Just gonna check the panels, uh, the open circuit voltage. We've got really good sun. They're not super clean, but that's probably not that bad. So we're just going to check the open circuit voltage, and we're getting let's see, 39.3 volts. 
open circuit. And then we can check the, uh, the current. We're going to close this. We're going to check the short circuit current here. I'll switch it over to DC amps. And we're getting about four and a half amps uh, short circuit current on, on the panels. So I know people might provide some comments about, oh, you shouldn't short circuit them, but that's, that's okay. It's not a battery. It's not going to run away. <laughs> but that's how you check uh, the panels. And usually on the nameplate, you'll get open circuit voltage and short circuit current, but that's how you measure it. So we got, uh, you said we had uh, 39 volts and four and a half amps. So that's the output from the panels. So, so that's good? Yeah, that's good. And they're dirty, so it's even... Yeah, and, and without even... No cleaning. Yeah, <laughs> so let's see, 4.5 times 39. That's 175 watts. What are they? They might only be 200s. 39.2, 39.3. They're not really shaded. 39, that sounds about right. That wouldn't be much more than that. So 187 watts. So they could have been 200. Yeah. And if they're that old. Or and they're still, they're not clean clean. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is not going to make the biggest difference, but a little bit more. Yeah. But they may be 200s. It could be, yeah. Look at all this room without the mizzen. I know, let's take this thing down. <laughs> it's like gaining a whole other boat. <laughs> but, come night watchers, are you more confident with this little thing up or the main? Yeah. <laughs> well, me. Definitely this thing. We've got 42 volts. Oh, it's got more voltage. Yeah, 42 volts. Just that the leads on the. Uh, uh, just see those ends. You can short. pull those little bits off the end on the um, the leads. For this, they come off. Uh, I see. Okay, that'd be better. Yeah. That's not too bad. There's like nearly another 400 watts of solar there. Absolutely. Perfect. Um, We're feeding them. I was going to remove them, but at the same time, I was like, you know, it's all adds up. All right, verdict's in. Yeah. I mean, solar panels that when they when they age, you know, their output. It's not as, as high as it were before, but these are still good. So together, you've got another 400 watts. Beautiful. Well, that's good news. All right, back one's getting checked as well. I'm just curious, if while you're there, mm -hmm. does that how much does the shading affect it when you sort of go like that? Um, not very much. You'd have to shade a whole uh, lot bigger area. Six. There's not a lot, is there? No, no. Ah. But yes. certain cells are affected, and that's really dirty too. Yeah. yeah you probably have to affect a fair bit, yeah, yeah. A fair bit before. Well, oh, that's that's cool. Yeah. Just really curious. You're like a kid. Yeah, down to down. So that took two amps. Yeah. yeah. So it was 354. Yeah. Okay. So we, still, we're it's... at an angle, and they're dirty. Yeah. So yeah. But yeah, you'll, you'll never get the full output, but um, I think all combined. It'd be funny, like I'll, I actually might even check it on a sunny day, clear water, and see the bifacial side of things. Yeah. How, yeah. if it does actually go up more. So was that significantly more than the side ones? Or not? On that one, that was... 354? Yeah. Yeah. And what was the so, other one? Those were close to 200, about okay. 200 each. Yeah, that one was slightly more than 200, but I think if if I if we tilted that one a bit more, it'd yeah. probably come really close to that one. Yeah, on where the yeah. Sun is. angle, yeah. yeah. How's it going at the back here? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah, just checking to see how this is going to work with this uh, tubing to run, oh, the, I see. Oh, to run yeah. the cable through there. So I need the captain's approval before, yeah. I, cut, <laughs> before I cut anything. But I think this will work. Be nice if I had another six inches of slack here, but I think it'll work. Okay. Do you want me to get the captain for you? Yeah, see what he thinks. So Brian has wired up and tidied up all of the lines for the solar. Thank you, Brian. And look out down here. How nice the back of the boat is. Kids, or mostly Bella, has buffed the boat. So we can put our name on there. 
Alright, so our solar controller, the last one, thank you Angus, arrived today. So we are waiting on one more component which is the inverter. And that's what that big box <laughs> is simulating on the wall there. Um, it's not going to be a cardboard box, it will be an inverter there. But hopefully it arrives in the next day or two. But Lee has pretty much hooked everything up now. Nearly, yeah? To get in there, get in there. getting closer. We've got isolators here for our inverters. All that wired up, some big fuses going in. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Busy, busy. It's been busy, in busy. here for days on end. <laughs> Doesn't look like I've done much, but it seems to be very time consuming. Yeah, you're doing a great job, baby. Package time. Package time. Got 10 days to go, nine days to go. And uh, this will be some of the last packages that we receive. I don't uh, know. This looks like towels. Oh wow! <gasps> oh my gosh! Thanks, Greg. These work well for me on the boat. Oh! Oh, that's oh so my nice. gosh, that's so nice. We don't have like any good towels. Oh my gosh. And there's like a mini, oh, and they're all matching. Thank you. This is so great. Get this out of the road. We've got another one. Oh, that was kind of satisfying. Done. Thank you, Greg. Ooh, a oh, a big line of cable. Nice. Now he's gonna oh need that. Oh my gosh, we need this. Thank you, Gregory. Yeah, look, we're passing into it right now. We might even need it right this second. It's in the engine bay. Look. Oh, nice. What gauge are we running there? Ten, ten gauge. So I got in my hand right now. Nice. All right, thanks, Greg. I'm just going to use up the last of this bit, and then I'm going to go straight onto that roll. So thank you very much. Cheers, Perfect mate. Timing. Perfect timing. <laughs>